today's symposium with Jean Allman and Bruce Lindsay. Professor Allman is the director of the Center for the Humanities and the J.H. Hexter Professor in the Humanities for Arts and Sciences. Professor Lindsay is the E. Desmond Lee Professor for Community Collaboration in the Sam Fox School of Design and Visual Arts. Together they will share their presentation titled Divided City. Please join me in welcoming them. Hi, everybody. So I'm Jean. Um, and Bruce and I are the primary investigators on the Divided City Initiative, which began in 2014. This initiative has involved faculty, students, and community partners, um, scores of them. And so we decided that the best way to sort of capture the collective work that we've been involved in for these past five years was to make a film. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. Um, we would like to thank the Divided City Program Coordinator, Tila Naguse, who's here today, and documentary filmmaker, Dan Warner, for their work on this film. The citizens of St. Louis, uh, alongside countless others around the world, live segregation daily. So does WashU. And here are some of the people that are working to change that. At the end of 2012, the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation quietly launched an initiative to bring the humanities in dialogue with urban design around issues facing cities, both in the United States and around the world. About a year later, they invited Washington University to submit a proposal. The tricky part was that the humanities and architecture and urban design weren't in particularly productive dialogue, with one exception, and that was a city seminar that had been running for about seven or eight years. It was started by Maggie Garb, a professor of history, and Eric Mumford, a professor of urban design, we invited them to join us to write the proposal and also bring together the other faculty that were working around issues related to urban segregation. We developed a project that was both local, focused on St. Louis, and global, that would look to the world. St. Louis was a great place to initiate the local of this project. It's a colonial city, the dividing line between north and south, east and west, the gateway to imperial expansion, but also the boundary between slavery and freedom. It's also the site of numerous court cases that have to do with race and segregation. So it seemed to us a perfect place from which to launch the divided city. During the development of the proposal, I think the idea was always there that St. Louis is this particularly resonant place from which to ask questions about urban segregation. But I don't think anyone expected that just two months after we were funded that our city would erupt in the way that it did. We were funded in June 2014 and then in August 2014, Michael Brown, an unarmed African-American teenager, was shot dead by police officer Darren Wilson in Ferguson, Missouri, just a few miles north of WashU's campus. Michael Brown's body laid in the street for over four hours on Canfield Drive. The protest and the militarized police response over the next year catapulted our city to the forefront of national and international news, and it brought a much needed sense of urgency to our new Divided City initiative and a razor sharp focus to our city. Over the past five years, Ferguson and all it has come to symbolize has profoundly shaped the work, goals, and energy of the Divided City Initiative, and I think it will continue to do so in the coming years as we continue our work. The Divided City is a multifaceted project that at its core is built upon community and institutional partnerships, faculty collaboration, and interdisciplinary graduate student cohorts. Much of the cooperation we've been able to facilitate between architecture and urban design and the humanities and between Washington University and community institutions has really been through our faculty collaborative grants. We have funded over 24 faculty collaborative grant projects from community engagement grants. People here voted to uh, tax a little bit more to get a, a metro link line running from the south to the north, from the north to the south via Jefferson, so. I believe that would be a good improvement and it'd generate money. To projects focused on interdisciplinary course development. This is a class that for the first time is gonna to bring together students in sociology and of course urban design at the San Fox School. There aren't that many programs that bring together this kind of constellation of interests. You don't see sociologists and urban design people working together explicitly in student-centered programs. 
We've even created digital archives. Our project contributes by centering LGBTQ experiences in a divided St. Louis to document the history of people whose sexual and gender nonconformity has often meant that their experiences have gone unrecorded, unarchived, unheard, and unremarked. Our faculty collaborative grants have brought dozens of visiting lecturers to St. Louis from across the globe. These experts engage with the public in conversations about urban environments, placemaking, and cities. Universities have decided that part of the, the, the measure of success is growth and, and how much land you can acquire. The Divided City is also a direct product of the collaborative work that's been built through the City Seminar. I was here teaching urban history and really frustrated that there would seem to be nothing at all on campus related to stuff that I was teaching or researching. We put together this kind of interdisciplinary seminar and basically we just began inviting people we knew in the St. Louis area to come and talk to us about their work. We've also worked with the Divided Cities Project to begin to organize other events and most importantly the Summer City Seminar. Another highlight of our work is the Divided City Graduate Student Summer Research Fellowship. Our goal is to support the research of graduate students in architecture and urban design and the humanities. We have developed an interdisciplinary cohort of graduate students, awarding 28 fellowships to students across varied disciplines. As part of the fellowship, our graduate students present their summer research findings at a meeting of the City Seminar in the fall of each semester. Black boys and men's depictions in urban America are prevalent. However, the experiences of girls and women often go overlooked and understudied. Through the Divided City Initiative, we have also forged a strong humanities-enhanced partnership with the Alberti Program, Architecture for Young People. The idea that we started the Alberti Program with was simply to introduce the students to the field of environmental design. The Divided City Initiative has brought a new dimension. We're able to focus on the humanities and the history of our own city in a way that we hadn't before. The really exciting thing about The Divided City is that we've produced this immense body of work. We have all these innovative courses, we have interdisciplinary research produced by graduate students and faculty, we have all these vibrant community connections, and I think what's really exciting about the coming years is that we're going to continue to build on this momentum.